Let's understand flux models. Why there are so many different variants. Flux, the first model, was shared on the hugging face by Black Forest Labs. The highest quality model available in Flux for free is this. The Flux 1 dev with the file size around 24 gigabytes. If you want your computer to use this model and generate an image, then you have to load the entire model into the fastest memory available. So your computer can use this model and generate an image. When I say fast memory, what I mean is the memory available in your graphic card. It's way too fast than the RAM you have in your computer. Now, the problem here is the memory size. I will not be able to load this flux model into a 4 gigabytes card. And this is where the different variants were made. So flux models can be used in smaller cards. I am not saying it is impossible to run these models. This application, Forge UI, manages memory very well. So well, that even a smaller card may be able to run larger models. You can see the shared memory. This is some extra space from the computer's RAM, accessible to the graphic card. This may let your computer use models larger in size. But this memory is slow. I don't think there is any point when the generation time is around 30 minutes. This is the total of both fast and slow memory. So the first model we were looking at should work with the 24 gigabytes card. There is also this Schnell version of Flux model by the same user, Black Forest Labs. The word Schnell means quick. And this is faster than the other model we saw before. However, the result is not as good as the regular model we saw before. Both the models we saw need a card with 24 gigabytes. Let's look at some other accounts on Hugging Face, like this one. This person is known for making things for smaller graphic cards. If we look at the Flux model uploaded by this person, you will find smaller version of Flux model. This model is around 12 gigabytes, ideal for most of the users. In the name, there is this, FP8 written. This FP means a floating point. In programming, a float is referred to a number like this. This number takes more space if compared with the smaller float number like this. For example, if the Flux1 dev of 24 gigabytes has floating point 16 numbers like this. Making a Flux model with a smaller size means removing some values. Now, if you know the basic math, we use number after decimal to specify the precision. Removing this decimal or decreasing will decrease the number's accuracy. For simplicity, you can imagine this models are filled with this float numbers. Model with more accurate number can understand your request and respond more accurately. If compared with the FP8 model having smaller float numbers, I'm not saying this model is bad, it is just less accurate. Smaller models are more practical on most of the consumer graphic cards. Because everyone does not have a 24 gigabytes card in their computer. Now, we saw the model by Black Forest Labs. Then the FP8 model. Let's look at another account on Hugging Face. This person does a lot in the generative AI field which includes the Flux model as well. There is also a FP8 version, but I am interested in the file above. The Flux1 dev available here has some different abbreviation in its name, and there are two models here with different file sizes. Unlike FP8 we saw earlier, there is this BNB and NF4 written into it, the BNB stands for bits and bytes in Python. And NF stands for next generation flux models. If compared with FP8, which is decreasing the numbers after decimal point, this BNB is a smarter way of quantization. Something like removing the negligible stuff and keeping the important as it is. This 11.5 gigabyte size model should work on smaller cards as well. If we go back and look at other models, 
There is this Schnell model and the dev model, with the GGUF written at the end. Inside the files, there are multiple models, like this FP16 and a smaller Q2 model below. This GGUF can even run on a 6GB card. It became possible because of this person here. We should be thankful for the GG Unified format by this person. His contribution gives me a strong feeling that he is about to push some code any minute. So, the models here goes from Q2 till Q8. This means, smaller the number, lower the quality of the image. This letter K is the method of quantization. There are other different methods as well. The letter next to K refers to small. There are medium and large as well. Similarly, there are GUF versions for Schnell model as well. We saw four types of models. The first was the original by Black Forest Labs. The second was the FP8 version, ideal for consumer grade hardware. Then we saw the BNB models. And the last was the GUF models. These three variants were made after the original for the sake of smaller graphic cards. However, Keeping only this file in the models folder may not always work. The models may or may not include the text encoder and the VAE. To get the text encoder, search for Flux Text Encoder Hugging Face. It will be by the name Comfy Anonymous. Go to Files and Versions. These are the files that should be in the text encoder folder. I have not used the scaled version yet. You can try it. The clip L file will be this for all the models. Then there is this T5 file with different floating points 16 and 8. This file helps the model understand the text prompt to generate the image. Click this download icon to get the files and you can use this. You can use this FP16 file with FP8 models. Maybe you can get something better. For the next, you can search for Black Forest Labs, VAE. You should get the file in the model's file and versions. This file, ae.safedensers, should be kept in the VAE folder. This file can be used with all the models. Now, we have got all the remaining files, in case if it is not included in the Flux model. If you saw the previous video, I was able to generate the image with the help of a single Flux BNB model. It was possible because model already included the clip text encoder and the VAE. You must download the clip, L, and the T5 files. Keep it in the text encoder folder like this. You can download the FP8 and 16, both files. Model without text encoder does not restrict you to use a different T5 file. Download this file for VAE. Keep it inside models, then in the VAE folder. Back to Forge UI, the BNB model is selected, with a prompt, a beautiful woman. First image was generated in 90 seconds, but the woman in the image was heavily gifted. So, I updated the prompt by adding wearing a t-shirt. The second image was generated in 45 seconds. The BNB model works good. Next, I will try the Flux 1 Dev FP8 model. I have not selected the text encoder or any other file. Loading a different model takes time. It took 130 seconds. And this is the result. Like the BNB model, this FP8 model had the clip and other files included. Next I will try using the GUF model. Let's try the Q6 model. Keep it inside the stable diffusion folder. Back in the Forge UI, click refresh and select the Q6 model and hit generate. Let's check if it requires text encoders separately or not. And I got an error here. The GUF model does not include other files, hence the error for missing clip. Before selecting the clip, let me refresh this page. Hope I get some response in the command prompt after the error. 
The program actively responded. Let's select the files. Clip L and FP8 for the text encoders. And AE.SafeDensers for VAE. The prompt remains the same so that I can compare. For some reason, it took 5 minutes. I think I need to have 32 gigabytes of computer RAM. Also, my computer's command prompt sometimes stops. This is Tiny11 operating system. I downloaded two more GUF models, Q2 and Q8. The Q2 models are low on quality. Let's find out. The model got loaded quickly, and this is the result. If compared with previous images, it is a bit low. The difference is subtle. Next image was using Q8 model, the highest quality GUF model. The Q8 model took 200 seconds in the second attempt. My computer's RAM goes 100%. You need 32 gigabytes memory. I tried getting a model from Civit AI. Filtered the Flux 1 dev model. This model has the highest rating on Civit AI. The base model used here was Flux 1 dev. There are two files for download, the full version, FP32. I explained you about the numbers and accuracy. Then the other is pruned, FP8. Removed some of the values from the original length of 32 to FP8. Save the file in the stable diffusion folder. Click the refresh and select the model with the same prompt. I will generate the image. Text encoder and other files were not selected and the image was generated within 100 seconds. You can check if there are any details on Civit AI if the model includes the encoder files. You can always get prompt for testing the models. Let's check if the result is close to what we saw. It took 150 seconds this time, and this is the result. Hope you understood about using models based on the system you have.